Hi guys, so Paul Bates here, um, and uh, today I'm just doing a quick little video here on uh, syncing your uh, tablet up to your uh, SIMRAD and what I'm going to use. So up here on the bridge here, I'm going to use my Apple iPad, and that will be synced to the navigation system down below, which is the SIMRAD, and that was just a Go 7 is all I bought. It was a little bit cheaper, so it was, you know, it was, it was a matter of two or three hundred bucks, but I can you see my screen right here. Uh, I know it's hard for you guys to see it because of the video, but uh, it's got, it, I can fully function it up here from the, I can do whatever I can do on the screen, uh, on, uh, the SimRad I can do right here on the iPad. So that's very cool. Uh, on, at the home station. And then my Samsung pad here, I will use that for, uh, um, for my Naptronics. And I'll have a big picture and a small picture. I'll probably use the, the, the boat nap, uh, electronics as my big picture and my, uh, um, Naptronics as my uh, small picture. So it's just something I want to share with you. Uh, and now here I'll show you the comparisons of why I'm going to use the Apple versus okay, the Samsung. I want to show you guys just a side by side. Uh, on the right side there, that's an Apple iPad, and on the left side here, that's a Samsung uh, tablet. And you can see the Samsung tablet is just a little glitchy, where the the iPad is super super clean clean. So my my plan is this will be I'll use this for Naptronics, uh, the Samsung. And the iPad I will use for uh, for the to linking the two of them together. Um, it's not bad. It's just got this little glitch right here, and it's always done it. Uh, and I don't know why. Maybe I can reload the app or something. And but as I play with it and as I get more familiar with it, but you can see right here that's the navigation up there on the screen right there uh, on the boat. It's showing me that same information right there, and I can go to either one of these anywhere on the boat. You know, so if I'm downstairs sleeping, I can put this on and uh, see where I'm at and what's going on and stuff like that. So that's super cool. I just wanted to share it with you guys and show you that you can link these up, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on, uh, you know, uh, uh, electronics. It's you can you can cut some corners in a couple places and still have a big screen. I mean, this is totally touch screen. Both of these are right here. So, and I just wanted to show you the difference in the two. Because I've tried it with both and I've linked them. First thing you have to do uh, when you're doing this is you got to go in and download the app, the Link app uh, for, for SimRad. Just put, uh, put in your app store uh, SimRad Link and uh, the link will sh show up and then after you do that then you can um, uh, get onto your Wi-Fi from your SimRad and then after you do that then you just hit the link and share and then you can share your home screen. But what's cool about that is even in the bedroom when we're sleeping at night I can just have this sitting next to me with the nav on and the anchor alarm on and it shouldn't be any problem at all. It should, it should be super, super, super cool. But anyway, it's just a quick little video and I wanted to share it with you. So Paul Bates, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I just do these quick little videos. Uh, as I'm learning, I'm trying to teach, if that makes sense. I'm trying to help you guys. So anybody that's getting in the market to try and put one of these 40-year-old trawlers back to work and don't want to spend a ton of money on electronics, it's a good option. Anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Peace out. Bye.